You've probably felt the need for vengeance sometime in your life. It's a powerful feeling, one you might experience when you've been wronged and want to punish the offender. This desire is wired within us. Did you know that in 1964, Warren Buffett bought Berkshire Hathaway out of spite? He had previously bought stock in the textile company as it was in decline, figuring he could sell it back to them after they closed and make a profit. So the boss agrees to buy Buffett's stock for $11.50, except a couple of weeks later when the paperwork comes through, the offer is different. It's eleven and three hundred seventy-five thousandths. They cheated him out of one eighth. Buffett literally bought the stock, all the stocks he could find of this company, and eventually became a controlling partner. Once he did, he fired the guy who wronged him of that one eighth of that offer. In 1964, Warren Buffett bought an entire company to fire one guy. So now let's learn what we figured out about the science of retribution. So what exactly is it? Revenge is the action of inflicting hurt or harm on someone for an injury or wrong suffered at their hands. It's a substance of so many TV dramas, movie sagas, and songs. But should it really play an important role in our lives? We're about to explore the dark, secretive. Mysterious science and psychology of revenge, because as much as we hate to admit it, revenge is one of those intense feelings that comes up for every single human being. A group of scientists scanned the brains of subjects who had been wrong during a game in the research lab. They then gave the wrong participants a chance to punish the other person for a full minute. As the victim contemplated revenge, the activity in their brain was recorded immediately. Researchers noticed a rush of neural activity in the caudate nucleus. This is a part of the brain known to process rewards. This study found that revenge, at the moment, is quite rewarding. However, the scientists weren't done. They wanted to know one more thing: Does revenge keep rewarding? The long-term effects of revenge. Often, we believe that exacting revenge is a form of emotional release, and that getting retribution will help us feel better. Media often portrays the action of revenge as a way of gaining closure after a wrong, but in fact, revenge has the opposite effect. Even though the first few moments feel rewarding in the brain, psychological scientists have found out that instead of quenching hostility. Revenge prolongs the unpleasantness of the original offense. Instead of delivering justice, revenge often creates a cycle of retaliation. Warren Buffett did the math afterwards, and he figured that if he had not bothered with all of this and instead invested in the insurance company, like he originally planned to do with his money, he would have made two hundred billion by now. He's currently only worth about eighty-five billion. So his revenge. It cost him about a hundred fifteen billion dollars. Was it really worth it? So, what should you do with revenge? Revenge opens and reopens your emotional wounds. Even though you may be tempted to punish a wrong, you end up punishing yourself because you can't heal. So, what do you do when you're wronged? How do you deal with that intense emotional feeling of justice and balance? What do you do when you feel the need for revenge? Lucky for you. There are healthy ways to deal with this that can help you heal and give your brain the same amount of rewards without the consequences. Let's quote Frank Sintra: "The best revenge is massive success." So the next time you feel those notions of revenge creep down on you, take the same intensity and put it towards succeeding. Put it towards your goals, growth, and getting what you want. Get the reward center of your brain pumping in a different way. This shifts the focus onto you and your mission, and makes your perpetrator irrelevant, exactly where they should be. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to our channel.